In this lesson, I'll show you two examples on how to find the equilibrium constants from experimental concentration measurements. The question reads, consider the following reaction, shown here. A reaction mixture at 780 degrees Celsius initially contains a concentration of CO equaling 0.500 molars and a concentration of H2 equaling 1 molar. At equilibrium, the CO concentration is found to be 0.15 molars. What is the value of the equilibrium constant? The first thing that I want to do is write down the equilibrium expression. Notice that all of these molecules are gas, so that's a good thing. We have Kc is equal to CH3OH, its concentration, and it has a coefficient of 1, so technically this is being raised to the power of 1, which we don't show, over CO times the concentration of H2 raised to the power of 2, given that there's a 2 there. So we're told some important information. We're told that CO, if I rewrite this, CO plus 2H2 yields CH3OH. The initial of CO is 0 0.500. And at equilibrium, the CO concentration happens to be 0 0.15 molars. So I'll write down at equilibrium, we have 0 0.15 molars. In addition, initially we have one molar of H2, but we don't know its equilibrium concentration. What we need to do is calculate the change for each of these, and from there we can actually start to fill up what we have here. Of course, at this point we can even change this with 0 0.15 because we already have that information. We need this one, however, and this one. So how do we calculate the concentrations at equilibrium for those two? First we need to find the change and we can do that by writing out that the change is equal to the equilibrium minus the initial. The equilibrium is 0 0.15 minus 0 0.50 gives us negative 0 0.35. To find the change of H2 we compare the amount of moles here to the amount of moles there. So for every 1, we had 2, so we multiply the change by 2, where we end up with negative 0 0.70 being the change here. To calculate its equilibrium concentration, we use this exact same formula. This time we have C and I for this column. So I'll rearrange this formula, where I bring this over here. I have C plus I is equal to E. I'll replace negative 0 0.7 in for C and 1 in for i. Adding these two numbers up, we should get positive 0 0.30. Again, we have to do this for this molecule. So for every one molecule of CO, we have one molecule of CHO3. But since this is on the opposite side of the equation, we disregard the negative. So if this were positive, then this becomes negative. Given that it's negative, this should be positive. It's a 1 to 1 ratio, so we have 0 0.30. 3, 5. To find the initial concentration, of course, at the very beginning, no product is made. So just by using some logic, that should be 0. And now we can calculate E using this exact same formula. 0 0.35 plus 0 is 0 0.35. So I can now substitute into here 0 0.3 raised to the power of 2 and into here 0 0.35 using our calculator. Start off at the top, 0 0.35 divided by, at the bottom we have 0 0.15 times 0 0.3, raise that to the power of 2. This gives us 25.9, and to two significant figures, this should be 26. That right there represents the equilibrium constant. If you'd like to see the answer to question number two, make sure you watch question two of this series where the solution here is covered.